Hello Floss Tube. My name's Natalia and this is my channel, Official Mermaid's Cove, where I share my love of cross stitching and other crafty things I've been up to. Thank you for stopping by and visiting with me today. Um, so in this video I'm just gonna go through uh, what I've been working on this past week. Um, just a weekly update on what I've been up to, uh, things I've bought, and my plans moving forward and who I've been watching on FlossTube. Um, so I've only been stitching on two things since the last update video I did, um, which is my Ever After Sal. Um, this is a Sal hosted by Forbidden Fiber Co. Um, I bought the kit, so I'm stitching this on 32 uh, count Belfast Linen, um, and I'm stitching it two over two threads. This is where we're at with the Sal so far. Um, we've gotten down to this part was the last release. It says, I shall go down in history as the man who opened a door. But yeah, we're getting really close to the end. I love this fabric. I love how all this has been stitching up. I've watched the movie a couple of times um, as I've been working on it, and I've really enjoyed myself. This is the first sal I've done through Forbidden Fiberco, so I'll have to keep an eye out for um, if they do uh, another one that piques my interest. Um, so we have three parts left. Um, they do weekly releases, so we'll be getting another part tomorrow, which I think is going to be this area this part and then this will be the last part. I'm really interested to see what they leave for this section. But yep, keeping up with that. That's my, typically the project I take to work and stitch on during my lunch break. Okay, and then the last thing that I worked on for the majority of this week, and you might have seen it already if you follow me on Instagram, which, um, if you want to see daily updates, I try to post something once a day on there. Is my Nora Corbett. This is Lady Cat by Nora Corbett. Um, I did a skin conversion on it. But I used the call for it. Um, there's a couple things about this pattern. Um, the beads that they called for... They ask you to do get two packages of the 62048. I only ended up using one, but it was pretty close. So I can understand why they ask you to get a second one. Um, and then, you know, there's only a little bit of the red and a little bit of the orange that you use. So if you wanted to set those out. But you do use quite a bit of uh, this light creamy pink color. And the uh, Magnifica is the 10052. They're pretty pink. And so I can try to bring you in. You see how many beads? She has over 800 beads, which is quite a bit, especially for Honora Corbett pixie. I love her headdress. So you see, I ended up sewing fabric to the top and bottom of this. I've ended up figuring out where I went wrong. So the stitch count for this was like 177, and somehow when I was writing it up and doing the math, I put 117 instead of 177. So I still ended up with enough because I pretty much give myself like two to three inches margin when I'm doing my projects. I still ended up with enough margin to actually stitch her, but it was pretty close as you can see. But I think um, I'm happy with this fabric being here. And I think I'm just gonna frame her like this with the fabric as an edge. Um, but yeah, I already know where she's gonna go to. Just gotta put my initials probably down here. And I find a frame. And I'll be finishing her up so she can go to her new home. But yep, super happy with her. Um, I think I stitched this up in like 11 days, maybe 12 days. She had like um, 9,000 and change for stitches or squares 
because I usually track my projects on Pattern Keeper. So um, not too bad. And uh, the fabric that I used, I actually really liked it. Um, it's a mystery fabric. It's a. It seems like it was 28 count, but after they dyed it, it ended up being more of like a 30 count. Um, I don't know what it is. I got it as a gift for ordering some charts from Enchanted Layer. Um, but they also sell hand dyed fabrics. So if you're interested in matching this up, I would go and check their website. Um, and I might be interested in um, buying some from them. I, it was uh, pretty nice to work with. It's pretty like a substantial fabric. So I actually did end up stitching most of this in hand. And then of course I put it in this frame to beat it and uh, backstitch it. But yeah, um, the skin conversion I used for this was based off the skin that What Are Your Stitches had charted for the mermaid I'm working on for her, which was DMC uh, 434, 435, and 436. So those three shades there. I thought that ended up going pretty well to together. I'm still recovering from my respiratory infection, so I'm trying to not cough as much in this video. But yeah, so those were the two things that I worked on. Um, the other thing that I did had to do with finishing. So I had it in mind to do this for a while, ever since I saw a tiger. Carrie at Tiger Lily's uh, video tutorial on making a Halloween tote. I wanted to do that finish for my uh, Ada kit that I had gotten for a present one year. I'd finished it and I wanted to turn it into a tote bag. So this is was stitched on an 11 count Ada. Um, so, you know, it's pretty thick, uh, sturdy fabric. So I thought it would make a good bag. Um, so I followed, uh, Carrie at Tiger Lily Designs tutorial video. She still has it on YouTube. I checked, um, I can try to see if I link it in the video description. Um, but you know, there were some mistakes. I think I broke one needle. I tried to go slow, but, uh, maybe it was the needle I was using too. But I had this fabric in my stash for the longest time. I thought it matched up pretty good. I did the box pleat. There's some errors here, but for my first one, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. And for the inside fabric, I had two different fabrics. I think the, I thought I was gonna have enough to do it both in black, but I also liked like this repeating design. I thought it worked well for the fabric. So I just ended up using black on one side and uh, this fabric on the other. And I'm happy with it. Right now, I put this in here. I'm gonna be making a baby blanket for a friend of mine. So I bought the yarn at Joanne's. So that's what's in here right now. I'm making this one. So I haven't started on that yet, but that's also in the works. But I'm yeah, I'm super happy with it. Um, I recommend it. Again, uh, Carrie tutorial had you doing this with t-shirts so you can also use t-shirts to make a tote bag but the instructions were pretty good and um, a lot of it's just straight stitching so if I can do it I'm pretty sure you can try your hand at it if you're interested in um, so that's it for what I've really been working on um, the other things today is August 25th so we're going to be starting our sow. Um, Stitching Scotty has mentioned it on her floss tube channel as well as her Instagram. But we're doing a sow called the Friendship Retreat Sow. Um, and we're going to be stitching Sweet Wing Studios uh, chart, The Noblest Part. You can find this on her Etsy uh, shop if you want to join us. Um, we're starting today. Um, I think we have a Zoom planned. For my group um, but if you want to start with us and post your progress um, I'd be happy to have you and see you stitching on it as well um, I'm stitching this on a 
This is Grace Notes fabric, but I don't know the name. It's a 16 count Ada. And I have the Call for DMC and then some um, specialty threads that I pulled from Stash. I have a silk from Stitch Me, purple silk. I don't know how to pronounce that. Joejo. I'm not sure. But it's pretty purple silk. I have Thalassa from Night Stalker's Calling. I have Spruce from Cottage Garden Threads. Uh, Cherry Wine, a Dental Art Sampler Thread. And Gargoyle from Forbidden Fabrica. Um, and that covers most of the... Oh, and I also have this one. It's a Belsois Fufu Flamingo from Classic Colorworks. Um, and the rest of it's the Call for DMCs. So yeah, if you want to join us, um, you can pick your own threads and post your progress and switch along with us. Um, I finished my lady cat, so I am in the middle of kitting up uh, my next Mira. I have quite a few that I have like been matching fabrics to. I think I have a fabric for this one. I need to find it. It's a... Uh... Oh, I might have it next to me here. I might have picked this one. Picture this plus fathom, 28 count. I thought it might look good on there. Um, and I started getting the beads and stuff. I'm probably gonna pull a lot of stuff from Stash for the most part. This circle of friends, I'm gonna be stitching this for my dad. It's supposed to be me and my uh, two sisters. So I'm not planning on starting it anytime soon because the other thing that I wanna do is focus on finishing my Yin Yang Dragons. So this is a Yin Yang Dragons artwork by Jonas Jadike. It's like a Gecko Rouge kit. I'm stitching this on 24 count grid, or 28 count gridded even weave. Two over one tent. Um, I have this at 62% complete and I really want to finish it by the end of the year. I think there's like over 20,000 stitches left. So I really got to start putting some focused attention on this if I want to have it done. Um, this is supposed to be an anniversary piece for me and my husband. So I do want to get it done. Um, by the end of the year. Um, so I have that. And I think those are all my plans for right now. I am still kidding up um, some charts. Uh, I'm planning on doing a Sweet Wing Studio September next month because I bought so many charts when I was at the Stitch Florida retreat. Um, so I definitely want to get some working on those. So I'm slowly but surely getting up some of those charts. Um, so yeah, so you'll see me pulling those out uh, throughout the month of September as well. If you want to join me for that, you can look at Sweet Wing Studios Etsy shop and see. Uh, I know they also have some market releases. So if you're interested in ordering some of the new market releases that they came out with, um, you can do that as well and um, join me for Sweet Wing Studios September. Um, but I think that's it for now. That's all I have to share. Um, as far as floss tubers, uh, there's a new floss tuber that recently started recording videos, Siski Ellen. Um, she goes by, uh, Siski Stitches on Instagram. So I've been watching her videos here. She's got a lot of, uh, whip parades for stuff that she has kitted up and stuff that she started. And she has the cutest little kitty cats, so... If you're a cat person, you'll enjoy watching and seeing her pets um, and all the beautiful things that she's working on. A lot of full coverage projects, a lot of beautiful things to see there. Um, uh, I watched the Crow Stitcher again. Um, they, um, they've they been talking about, I guess they have legacy pieces that they're working on. I'm intrigued by that. I know I have quite a few full coverage pieces that I'm interested in. I have a one that I've had 
I, I don't know, I think I bought the chart like 2018? No, it's gotta be longer. I don't know how long ago. I had this, the first Heaven and Earth chart that I ever bought was a Selena Fennec chart and I have not started it. Um, I'm pretty sure I had kitted up at one point as far as all the floss and the fabric, but I just never, I think I was intimidated. So I might end up starting that as a legacy piece and see if that doesn't allow me to start it without feeling the need to like get it done. Cause a lot of the things, I don't know, I have some full coverage charts that have taken me a few years to finish, but just that heaven and earth design is so big. And there's a part of me that feels like if I start that, I'm never going to finish it and I can't, I feel sad. So I feel like if I make it a legacy piece, then I'll just, I'll have however many years ahead of me to eventually finish it, right? But it is something that I still want to stitch. It's a mermaid, of course. Um, so the thought of having legacy pieces is really intriguing. So I've been watching um, their channel and they shared some of the projects that they have under that category um in their last video so please go check them out um i've also started watching being bailey i think um youtube recommended the channel to me um lots of uh, interesting projects and i think they also had full coverage projects too which i always enjoy seeing people working on those over time um cross stitch the globe they've also been putting out um videos recently. Uh, I think they did a flip through of some of the, uh, like a Halloween stitch book. And they've also talked about, or they've gone through some whip parades of some of the things that they've been working on here lately, or at least it seems like a whip parade. They've been working on a lot of different projects here lately. Um, and getting ready for the murder house sale that they're putting on. Um, so go check them out. Um, Nicola, simply a stitcher. Uh, she's been sharing um, her progress on her whips and you know she's getting all of her stuff together to start um, a lot of the Gekarouche kits um, that she's planning on starting for I think it's at the end of the year for next year um, so definitely uh, again I love watching full coverage projects and Gekarouche has some of the best um, charting that I've uh, stitched up like I said I do have the heaven and earth designs um, but I haven't started on that so I just can't speak to it as far as my personal stitching experience. Um, but I really enjoyed working on the Gekka Rouge kits. And I have stitched on quite a few different kits, you know, the Dimensions kits, the... I've done design works, I've done um, Vicilla, and um, I just really like the way that uh, the Gekka Rouge kit uh, that I've completed, the owl one that I did stitched up beautifully, and I'm, I like how my other projects that I've bought from them so I've stitched up. So I'm really uh, looking forward to seeing her start all her kits and seeing how they progress. Um, Stitching in the Cabin, they have been posting update videos. Um, always enjoy hearing the stories about the kiddos and the... I think they were talking about their birds. Um, their life updates are always really entertaining and interesting. And she also stitches up uh, beautiful projects too. Um, so yeah, I think that's it. Uh, thank you for taking the time to visit the channel and spending some time with me today, and I'll see you on the next update. Bye!